All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is episode 1001. We're moving into a new millennium or a millennial. A new millennial <laughs> series, a millennial series of episodes on Student of the Gun Radio. That's right. Oh, man, I tell you what, we've get, it's been quite a week already, quite a week already. And as we're recording this for release Wednesday morning, we do not know the results of Super Tuesday. So we're not going to, we can't comment on that because quite frankly, I did not want to get up at 4 a.m. and try and, and do that. You guys are all adults. You know what to do. Uh, and I hope that many of you have been paying attention long enough. You know, I was doing a little Facebook live last night and some people were like, what should we be doing? And I was like, brothers, man, if you're in my audience, I, I would hope that you are, like I said, like Noah, you're just, you're like, I, I got the ark built and all the animals loaded up and everything. And I'm just, just waiting, just waiting for the rain to start. So. Uh, we've got a, uh, a Brownells bullet points for you today. We're going to start it out. Actually, we're going to reverse things today. We're going to start it out with a student of the gun homeroom. But first, Zach's going to play the music. Stand by for education, enlightenment, enjoyment, and entertainment. He's not here to talk about your feelings. He's not here to say what you want to hear. He's here to say what needs to be said. Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages. Please welcome your host, the pimp hand of America, Professor Paul Markle. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We're going to uh, we're going to go into the uh, student of the gun homeroom. But 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 before we do that, I want to uh, let you guys know. Now, if you're in the grad program and you're listening right now and you you haven't you had a busy weekend, you didn't really get into your email or whatever. Uh, that's cool, but Zachary sent you an email. Zach Shipping Ogre sent you an email, and in the email, it had a picture of this. And what I'm holding up for the camera right now, for those of you that are watching, if you're not watching, that's fine, uh, is the new book from Nicholas Orr. Uh, I, I, being a powerful and influential member of the media, was able to get my hands on a proof copy. Nicholas Orr sent me a proof copy. Uh, but this book is called A Pipe Hitter's Guide to Crushing the Coming Societal Breakdown by Nicholas Orr. And topics include, what topics are in there? Uh, understanding the threat to the food supply, a time for guns, team tactics, blowout kits and trauma medicine, tribes, fortifications and fire bases, the Dutch life raft. And you're like, is that like some kind of weird sexual position? No, Dutch life raft is not that. Uh, and swallowing the red pill. That, that might become a may, may Jared, in the future. I can see <laughs> Dutch life raft becoming a may, may in the future. Uh, but chapter eight is swallowing the red pill. Uh, this is a, and if you guys don't know what a pipe hitter is, a pipe hitter is a person who is willing to go to extremes to get the mission accomplished or to accomplish the mission. Now, if you freaks and freakettes, like I said, if you're a grad program member, uh, you got an invitation in your in your mail to get a signed copy of the book uh, and a special gift. Uh, we, we're working with not only with Nicholas Orr, but we're working with Ready Man to give you guys a, a special promo gift uh, along with the signed copies. And if you're not in the grad program, well, shame on you. You should be. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff there. But if you're not in the grad program, you don't want to be in the grad program, you're like, I'm fine the way I am. Okay, great. Uh, it would be awesome if you supported our friend Nicholas Orr by picking up this new book, and it's available as a Kindle and a paperback. So there you go. All right. Uh, Zach, did you want to uh, mention the new Pocket Lifesaver kits and remind people about those? Yeah, we I, could do that. I, I think we should do that later in the show. We should get into some okay. content. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the music for the Student of the Gun homeroom then. Boom, 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 boom. All right. 
That's uh, that music is well. It's the dangerous on demand. That's dangerous by Madison Rising, and the theme for the homeroom is being dangerous on demand uh, for the immediate future. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people have asked me. They sent me messages, and you know, what are you planning to do differently? The truth is, really, nothing. You're like, well, what do you mean, nothing? I mean, aren't you planning to do different things? No. Because what we've been preaching and, and what we've been trying to get you guys to do uh, is to be prepared all the time because bad people are not going to send you. They're not going to send you a, a postcard. They're not going to send you a memo and say, P.S. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. I'm going to attack you Saturday night at 2 a.m. I'm going to bust into your house. They're not going to let you know that you have. It's your responsibility to be ready all the time. That's just part of being a, a mature adult. And how do we do that? Well, we do that by constantly having access to the fundamental four. Now, if you're a relatively new listener to Student of the Gun Radio, you're saying to yourself, hmm, the what now? Uh, the fundamental four is what, Jared? Lethal, sharp, bright, and medical. That's right. Lethal, sharp, bright, and medical. You should have access to those things all the time. Now, I didn't say that's it. I never said that was all. I said, those are the minimums, the minimum. Every time you leave your house, every time you put your pants on, every time you walk outside your front door, you should have lethal, sharp, bright, and medical on your body attached to you, Uh, whether they're attached to you via a shoulder bag or whether they're attached to you via holsters and pockets or cargo pockets or whatever. uh, The fact of the matter is uh, you need to be your own first responder. Yes, you might be able to. You didn't say phone. I didn't say phone because, quite frankly, you can, as a human, well, I don't know, Jared, can can humans survive without phones attached to their body? No, absolutely not. That's true. It's a life support device. If you don't have a phone on you, you're like, you didn't say phone. Uh, No, I didn't say phone. What What did our parents do 30 years ago? Hell, what did I do 20 years ago? Um, you had a pager, <laughs> a digital pager. Beep, 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 beep. I and the worst thing about the age of pagers before the widespread availability of mobile phones was that you get a page and then you'd have to stop what you're doing and think, okay, where's the closest phone to where I am? So I can go. Uh, I actually worked for a company in the late '90s that issued us pagers but not phones because phones were expensive Mm -hmm. and pages were not, (laughs) but getting back to the fundamental four: lethal, sharp, bright, medical, lethal firearm, right? Uh, Sharp, obviously a knife, bright, obviously a flashlight and medical. How could you do? You mean like, uh, like band-aids? My wife keeps a Ziploc baggie with band-aids in her purse. That is awesome. I am glad that she does that. And most good wives do that. They have a Ziploc baggie with Band-Aids and aspirin and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, But the fact of the matter is, you are your own first responder. Could you keep yourself, your family, your loved ones alive while you're waiting for the ambulance to show up? That's what that's what the medical gear is all about. Do you have the knowledge, skill and and gear? You're like, I got the knowledge and skill, so I'm just going to I'm just going to make it up. Uh, I'm just going to run around looking for stuff on the ground, brothers and sisters. If you're carrying, if you're already carrying a gun, you know, you're more, far more likely to need medical gear. Jared, didn't you just use your medical kit this weekend? Yeah. I was just about to say, I just used my pocket lifesaver kit and believe it or not, there was no blood, but I was able to still use it. Hmm. I've, I've used my, I've actually had to use my pocket lifesaver kit because it had the duct tape in it. And I just and I needed the duct tape to do a, a quick in the field repair. Yeah. Uh, honestly, you know what I've used more than anything? I think I've talked about this before, but the gloves. Oh, the, yeah, I've the gloves. I've used the gloves more than any other part of that kit, thankfully. Thankfully I've not had to use a tourniquet that often. Yeah. Yeah, the gloves. The gloves in the kit. You know, if something happens, you're like, Ooh, I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch that. And like, aha, I have gloves on me. I don't have to do that. Uh or the the duct tape or the uh, something that's that's really good to have. Let me give you guys a lanyard. Can I give you a freebie, a lanyard? 
if you folks out there are prepping kits for yourself, uh, let's say you've got the pocket lifesaver. You're like, well, I got pocket lifesaver, but I also want to have a bag. And I took some training and so on and so forth. And they said to get Coban, which is this elastic -y wrap, right? Uh, and Coban is great. You know, it's as good, but less expensive. Vet wrap. I, I learned this years. Oh, geez, Louise. 2007, 8, 12 years ago or so. <laughs> uh, a, a Navy combat corpsman uh, pulled out his bag and he opened it up and he had this bright pink and like neon pink, neon green Coban. And I'm like, dude, he said, it's vet wrap. I say, it's vet wrap. He goes, yeah, here's the deal. Coban and vet wrap are the exact same product. But if they're selling it to you to use on humans, they charge you $6 a roll. And if they're selling it to use on animals, they charge you $3 a roll. What? Yes, that's exactly how it works. So if you guys are, are looking to enhance your kit, if you've got a bag, you know, a, a big red bag or whatever, or you've got a field bag that you take to the range with you and you want to put Coban in it, go ahead and buy vet wrap. You can buy twice as much vet wrap for the same price as Coban, and it's the exact same thing. Uh, and what I've found, and this is just another land yap, if you guys have a tractor supply or farm supply or, or any kind of that kind of, the, you know, store near you, a tractor supply, farm supply, whatever, go in there and go into the veterinary supply aisle, right, especially the equine. Uh, people who own horses use vet wrap all the time because horses are always scraping their legs and everything. Uh and they'll run sales on it. I've picked it up for a buck ninety nine a roll, uh, or you can do that, or you can pay six dollars a roll for for actual genuine Coban. And, and it's like I said, it's all the same. But uh, if you're going to be dangerous on demand, and you should be, you should not leave your house, whether today, tomorrow, anytime in the immediate future, you should not be out in public without the fundamental four. Uh, and well, Zach, why don't you tell them what we're doing? because we just love them. Yes. Uh, speaking of the fundamental four, because we all love you all so much, and to celebrate the new and improved uh, Pocket Lifesaver kits, we're actually doing a fundamental four giveaway. We've got an awesome tactical messenger bag, a, a shoulder bag, and then mm -hmm. inside of that is a knife for the sharp, a flashlight for the bright, and a original PLS for the medical. That's And that's a pretty dang good deal right there if I ever did see one. Yes. But yeah, so we're do we're doing that and all you got to do, the only the the only thing you got to do to be qualified is to be a member of our uh, mailing list. Yep. Oh, if you go to studentofthegun.com, it's right there on the homepage. If you're already signed up and you're pre-qualified. But yeah. There you go. And uh, we're we're going to draw the name from the active people. If you're on the you sign up for the electronic newsletter for free, right? Yep. You're automatically enrolled. And we will pick one of those people at random uh, on the Marine Corps birthday. Woo! It is 10 Woo. November uh, 2020, which is exactly one week from Tuesday. Yeah. One week from Tuesday. So, uh, uh, and then the 11th is uh, Veterans Day. The 11th of November is Veterans Day. That's coming up. So, uh, uh, and same rules apply. Here's the deal. We're going to send you an email and say, congratulations, you're the winner. You have 24 hours from the time we send the, the email to say, thank you very much. I hereby confirm and you wave your hands and say, ooh, me, me, me. Because uh, if you don't, it's not fair to everybody else. If you don't respond within 24 hours, we'll pick another winner. So make sure that you use an email that you actually check. And you're like, Paul, you always say that. Doesn't, don't, doesn't everyone get it? Certainly. <laughs> Certainly no one would sign up for a newsletter with an email that they never check. No one would do that. No, no one would do that, would they, Jared? No, never. And uh, by the way, active means that you're taking action in the emails that we send. We're <laughs> able to filter by uh, essentially people that are opening the emails, clicking the emails, actually doing something with the emails that we send. Yeah. So... If you, when you sign up, you'll immediately get a confirmation email, click the link in there, send us a reply, 
just take action in the email because that's how we identify the active subscribers. There you go. All right. Now, this is Crossbreed Holsters Homeroom. It's the homeroom brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, hence the dangerous on demand part, right? Duh. Uh, so if you guys are going to go there and uh, support those guys, and you should be, you know the reason that we can do episode 1001? Why? Because of people like Crossbreed. Hell yeah. Yes. If you don't support them, then, then they're not going to be there, and then we won't be able to have the show. So uh, go to Crossbreed Holsters. Use the promo code SOTG. That's SOTG18, and when you put that in, you're going to save money on your order, and you're going to be a happy camper, and bing, bang, boom, everybody's happy. So uh, that way you can be prepared to deal with whatever the world throws at you all the time and save money at the same time and have quality gear. I, it's like just there's so much winning going on here at Student of the Gun. I don't even know. <laughs> Speaking of winning... Uh, I took my Occam Defense uh, ODS 1775 that was all Duracoated up. Of course, I did the uh, Tiger Stripe, the green and black and tan Tiger Stripe, and then I took it and threw it in the snow. Like, well, it sticks out like this green is sticking out in like a sore thumb. I know, I know. But I threw it in the snow, and I snatched it up out of the snow, and I cacked with it, and then I just shook off the snow, and, and guess what? It's not going to rust. You know why it's not going to rust? Because it's got a badass finish on it. That's why. Because all the the uh, <laughs> ferrous metal on there, all the steel, is covered with a Duracoat badass finish. So I can do stuff like that. You say, but Paul, I'm not allowed. I'm not a, a, a gunsmith. No, you are allowed. All you have to do is take your butt over to DuracoatFirearmFinishes.com. Close your eyes. Think of a color. Now, if you, don't do that if you're driving. If you're driving or if you're on a treadmill, don't close your eyes because I don't want you to crash or fall down. But uh, think of a color. Duracode has that color. Boom. There you go. Oh, you mean they have fuchsia? Yeah, they do. They have crimson red? Yeah, they do. They have honey yellow? Yeah. They have gold? Mm-hmm. Okay, here's what they don't have. They don't have silver chrome. Yeah, they do. <sighs> All right, I run out of excuses. <laughs> Life's too short. To have an ugly gun. To have an ugly gun, man. Yep. Go to CodeFirearmFinishes.com, and then you can have not an ugly gun. Uh, I'm, I am proud of myself. I have been working diligently in the gym. And what we're going to do, and I haven't told the uh, boys this yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. Let me mute this. No, what I haven't told the boys yet is that I'm going to do a, an encouraging program. I'm going to do a positive encouraging program. And I haven't come up with a name yet, but essentially it's don't get soft this winter. <laughs> come out on the other end of winter stronger than when you. That's right. That's right. I want you guys to make the commitment to not get soft this winter, to not let winter make you soft. And, and it's easy to do because, I mean, what did we just do? We just changed the clocks, right? We just rolled them back. And everyone's like, eh, eh, eh. We, it's shut up. Deal, deal with it. Live with it. Uh, here where I live, well, when we rolled the clocks back that day, sunset was 5.01 p.m. And then it just kept, you know, keeps going. It's going to keep going all the way till the, uh, what, the 22nd, 20th, 21st or 22nd of November for the winter solstice. Or no, 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 I'm high. Uh, I'm not high. Uh, I'm dumb. Uh, winter... Let me look up winter solstice. 20. December 21st, right before Christmas. Sweet Buddha. Yep. So that's what that essentially means is the days are going to continue to get shorter until then. So every day by one minute or 90 seconds or whatever, the days are going to get shorter. Uh, and last, was it Friday or Thursday? Yes. It was Thursday uh, during the fighting fitness segment. We talked about... Uh, what to do and how to avoid the seasonal affective disorder and so forth. And I have, true to my word, I've changed my routine and I, I've adjusted my go to sleep, wake up time so that I can have more available sunlight. Uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm getting up right before sunrise and then I go to bed early. You want to hear the truth, Jared? Last night I was, I was watching TV. I was just kind of decompressing. It was 830. And I was 
starting to nod off and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm done. Yep. So by eight 45, I was in bed asleep. Yeah. You're like, yeah. man, you're a grandpa. Yeah. But I, I got up at six 15. I, I got up actually before sunrise. So uh, what yeah, we're going to do is I'm going to encourage you guys all through this seasonal affective disorder, all through this winter and cold and, and all that uh, to not allow yourself to get soft. And, and I, I, you know, I'm not going to say don't allow yourself to get fat during the uh, winter, <laughs> but don't get, don't get soft. Uh, don't get, you know, lazy. Don't, don't allow your, your muscles to atrophy. Uh, and it, it's easy to do. And you have to make a, a dedicated hardcore commitment to yourself to not do that. Uh, so we're going to be there with you. I'm going to lead by example. I'm going to lead by example. And, uh, that's just the way it is. And, and if you guys, uh, I, man, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that, that the, uh, that we can get beyond all this, this nonsense and, you know, help SWAT fuel, get all their stuff back in stock right now. I'm on their website and they've got plus P they got the nine millimeter plus P endurance formula and get it. You guys might need a little bit of some of that to get through these, these dark cold days. So, uh, but if you go there, use the promo code S O T G and what Zach's going to do right now is, is he's going to play a little video for you, a little audio clip and he needs you to listen up and pay attention. ShopSOTG.com is the perfect place to go if you are a student of the gun. Whether you want to expand your brain, increase your marksmanship, or help keep your family safe. All that, plus the pimp hand brands that you love. ShopSOTG.com has almost anything that an American patriot would want. Education, enlightenment, and entertainment, and we're open 24-7. Check out ShopSOTG.com today and see for yourself. Oh, yes, indeed. That is what you should do. If you haven't been there lately, go ahead and pop on over to shopsotg.com. Zach is constantly working on the site and offering you guys new and cool and interesting things. Uh, and Zach also does a, uh, a really fantastic job. I will, I will toot his horn for him because he won't do that for himself. But he does a great job keeping up with you guys, sending you emails and specials and, and all that jazz. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what else do we always do on Wednesday? Well, we always do a Brownells bullet points brought to you by Brownells. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, what do I have here? What do I have here? We talked uh, this week. We talked with Charlie Brown and we talked with Jeff Hoffman about guns and ammunition and, you know, components and, and all that jazz. And I decided to go into the Brownells sales and clearance section on their website and page one. I, it, I'm amazed. Okay. The day of the election. You'd think that if you're, uh, well, I guess if you're a charlatan or a carpetbagger, uh, what you do is is you take an item that normally costs $25 and charge $99 for it and tell people, hey, suck it. If you want it, you want it. If you don't, you don't. But what Brownells did is they still are running sales on AR-15 magazines, Glock magazines, lower receivers. They have the uh, their 20-round waffle mag, if you guys haven't seen those, for the 308, for the BRN-10. That's kind of like a commemorative. It looks like the original uh, one back, way back in the olden days when Stoner was, was coming up with new ideas. Uh, speaking of Stoner, uh, if you guys have not gotten yourself, well, Jared, will you do me a favor and do that today? Ta put on the original Stoner shirt. And have Alex take a photograph of you looking cute and share that with the entire student of the gun audience so that they can see it. Okay. You know that it exists. But yeah, so right now they're they're running standard capacity magazines, AR AR mags, 40 round magpole mags. Uh they've got them. Ah, uh, they ran out of the drums. And I like to think that we probably made that happen. <laughs> <laughs> pieces parts components barrels receivers stock kits 
springs, levers, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm, it's, 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 it's telling it really is. Uh, you know, I told you guys that, that we have the best sponsors in, in the industry. We always have, uh, and, and it, it's really telling, you know, we've got, a, you've got a company that, that could be capitalizing, uh, on the insanity they could get away with, uh, but they've chosen not to. Their business model isn't to do that. Whereas a lot of people, uh, I know you guys are, are having fun going to lower than dirt and finding insane things and posting them. I think the last one, Jared, was uh, a Daniel Defense rifle for $5,000. That thing better shoot 20 millimeter. Sounds about right. Depleted uranium for five grand. Yeah. Stuff like that. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Well, so if you haven't signed up for Brownells newsletter, go ahead and do it. Just, just go to brownells.com, sign up for their newsletter. Uh, and when they get shipments of ammo and all that other good stuff, um, they'll let you know, they'll let you know. So today, obviously, well, if you pay attention to the world, we're recording this Tuesday, Tuesday around noon. Uh, I am not going to look at any of the predictions or anything because it's all bull crap, you know. Uh, and I'm going to wait until tomorrow to to actually look and, and see what's what. But I want you guys to be of good cheer. I want you to, uh, if, if evil prevails and... This and you say, Paul, how can you say that? I mean, how, these are you know they're Americans, we're Americans, we we all want the same thing for the country. No, we don't. And this is the honest, you know, this is the honest conversation you need to have with yourself, your family, your uh, your community. Is are there people in the United States that don't want what's best for the country? Instead, would want what's best for them. Donald Trump like or don't like Donald Trump personally, has not taken one penny from this country. He hasn't taken a penny from you. Every year that he's been president, he's donated his salary to charity. Name one other president in the history of the United States that's done that. Go. All right, you're done. The answer is zero. That man has done all he could possibly do for this country. He didn't have to put himself through the media rectal exam that he did. He's not enriching himself. I mean, how many politicians, and let's face it, we know this, you know this, the Pelosi's, the Schumer's, the Biden's, the Clinton's, the Clinton's entered the White House in 92 with a net worth of like a couple of hundred thousand dollars or a few hundred thousand dollars and left eight years later with a net worth of 18 million or 14 million or something like that. How does that happen? Pelosi, Schumer, Biden, Romney, all these, these Washington, D.C. insiders, they show up and they show up for one reason to get power and money, and they use your government to do it. They use their positions to do it, and we've allowed it. We're like, well, you know, I'm out living my life, and, you know, and, and in the meantime, it just gets worse and worse and worse. You need to decide, regardless of the outcome of the election, you need to decide to whom does your soul belong. Does your soul belong to Gretchen Whitmer in Michigan? Is she your queen and she owns you? Does Gavin Newsom own your soul? Are you beholden to him as a servant, as a serf, as a peasant? I'm not being glib. And you need to live your life and behave as though you know to whom your soul belongs. Every day when you order your life, you need to do that. And if you believe, and I, like I've said before, I, I feel bad for you atheistic, agnostic people because you have no other hope in the world than to put your hope in man. And if you're putting all of your hopes in man, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I know to whom my soul belongs. 
It doesn't belong to Joe Biden or Donald Trump or Pelosi or whoever sits in the governor's seat. It doesn't belong to them. I know the difference between right and wrong. I know what the United States Constitution says, and I know what authority it gives me as a citizen, and I know what restrictions it puts upon the government. Now, whether or not the people who sit in the big chairs choose to ignore that doesn't change it. Because a Whitmer or a Kumo or a Newsom decides that, well, they're special and the Constitution might apply to lesser folk, but it doesn't apply to them. Ladies and gentlemen, it does apply to them. George Washington once said that it is the people who are the keepers of the Constitution. It is you, the American citizen, who have the responsibility. Adams knew it. John Adams knew it. Sam Adams sure as hell knew it. Thomas Jefferson knew it. If we have any hope of remaining any semblance of a representative republic, the people themselves must be the guardians of the Constitution. It doesn't say the president is the guardian of the Constitution. Because they're not. It is you. You must make the decision. You have to have that long, hard look in the mirror. That long, hard look in the mirror and say to yourself, will I be ruled? Or am I the master of my own life? Are you willing to be ruled? Were you put on this earth to be ruled by another man? You see, back in 1775, people were like, no, 76. No, 75, bro. 75. April of 75 is when the people of the United States, weren't even the United States, it was the colonies, when they said, no, we will not be ruled. Our great, great, great grandfathers, my great, great, great grandfather, my direct bloodline picked up a rifle and he said, I will not be ruled. And because that man and many like him, because that man and many like him took up rifles and said, we will not be ruled. You and I have been given a gift that is not available to the vast majority of people who've ever lived on planet Earth and who live on it today. We've been given the opportunity to get up every day and be the best that we can be. It doesn't matter whether you're poor or broke, whether you're born impoverished or, or orphaned. You can rise to the highest heights. You can go into your garage with an idea and you can create. In most countries in America or in the world, you don't have that opportunity. You're born into your lotted life. If you're born impoverished or a peasant, that's pretty much it. You're going to stay that way. If you're born into the ruling class, then good for you. You get to be part of the ruling class. But in the United States of America, you don't have to be satisfied to be a peasant. You can make a change. You have that freedom and that liberty. And the only reason you have that, the only reason you have that, why can, why can poor, a poor inner city kid grow up and make a million dollars in the NBA or the NFL or whatever? It's not because of institutional racism. It's because of the opportunity. That opportunity is not available any in any country in the world but this one. And it's all because 240-some years ago, men in April of 1775 picked up rifles and said, no, we will not be ruled. And you, as their descendants... You, as their descendants, need to have a long, hard look in the mirror. And you need to ask yourself that. And some people are going to say, are going to acquiesce. Because sometimes it's easier to be ruled. It's easier to be a slave. It's easier to be told what to do. It's hard, actually, living for yourself. 
it's hard making your own decisions because if you make your own decisions, then that means you need to live with your own mistakes. But if you allow someone else to rule you, then you don't have to own up to your mistakes. You can put them off on someone else. So what I want you guys to do today at some point in time, don't have to do it right now, not this second, but before the sun sets on this day, I want you to have that long, hard look in the mirror. And I want you to ask yourself, regardless of who finds themselves in the big chair of your governor's house or the, the, the White House, will you live as a free man or a free woman? Or will you be ruled? And that decision, and the thanks, thanks to God above and the grace that he bestowed upon this nation, you actually have the ability to make that choice. Most people who live on this planet and who have lived on this planet cannot make that choice. They, they're not allowed. They wake up and you think people in China wake up and say, I'm going to live my life as I see fit and I will not be ruled until they walk out of their house and the secret police grab them up, put them on a train, send them to a special camp. But you, citizens of the United States of America, you can make that decision. You still have that. And I want you to do that today. Before the sun goes down today, I want you to have that long, hard mirror conversation and decide, will you be ruled or will you live your life as a free man? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 1001. We couldn't have done it without you, without your support, without the support of the people in our industry uh, that we, we're grateful to have. And I want you to remember, wherever you go, whatever you do, you are a beginner once. But you're a student for life. We appreciate your reviews. If you haven't left a review or updated yours recently, head on over to Facebook, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast player to voice your opinion. Don't forget to join us at The Student Lounge, a place for like-minded individuals to learn, connect, and support each other. No chicanery will be tolerated. Remember to check studentofthegun.com daily for new free content and giveaways. Watch, listen, read, shop, and connect at studentofthegun.com. Are you a social butterfly? Connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for new content each and every day at Student of the Gun. Watch Student of the Gun TV and videos from our trusted partners on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, and even AirPlay. Go to studentofthegun.com for direct links, and remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.